What is going on guys? Matt Downs with Daily Grind Fantasy Sports and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys a five flex slip, possibly six flex here. Um, and I'm going to be going over how to read the market and identify these plus EV plays on prize picks because I know that prize picks is a very popular app and, and this video is is also sponsored by prize picks. If you guys enter code using DGF you'll get 100% match up to $100. Uh, helps us out, helps you guys out as well. But nonetheless, I just wanted to do, to hop on here and do this video a little bit differently because a lot of people um, have a lot of questions in regards to how to identify market value when comparing directly to prize picks. Um, also, as you guys know, uh, the sports books just started releasing player prop lines for the Super Bowl. Chiefs and Eagles uh, are, are obviously in the Super Bowl. Unless you guys live under a rock, you guys know that. Um, but Patrick Mahomes here at the very top. Uh, under two passing touchdowns, um, sportsbook line being set to two and a half with heavy juice on the under here, which indicates he's probably going to go under two and a half. So this prop is relatively safe on prize picks to go under two or push. And we know that Patrick Mahomes likes to get a lot of touchdowns, but Eagles have a good defense. All those things are taken into consideration. Now, one thing to hesitate at here is that Barstool is one of the first books to release lines. So we don't know how accurate this juice really is at two and a half. So something I'm probably going to avoid as of right now, I love to take lines um, on prize picks, that is, that are very, very juiced and have a lot of market research um, behind it. And what I mean by market research is that all these lines are being set on sports books. Um, and as you can see here for De'Aaron Fox at PRA of, of uh, 34.5, the sports books set their lines to 35.5. So not only are you getting that full PRA discount, but also slight juice here on the over at 35.5, indicating this has a 58.1% chance to hit the over at 34.5 on prize picks, which is fantastic. And again, we're using um, market research to really drive these props and, and make informed decisions and, and trusting all the books and market research that are driving these props. Because as you guys know, the books are in the industry to make money. They are making money off of non-informed betters. But what we're doing here is we're basically um, doing the opposite thing here. We're using their market research on different apps like prize picks to make our picks. So as you can see here, full point off, fantastic value on Darren Fox. This should definitely get bumped as of right now. Um, Chris Paul also has been rising in terms of odds. As you, as you can see here, it matches at nine and a half. So we're going we're gonna to pull up Chris Paul here. Um, his assists are set to nine and a half. But this is heavily juiced on on pretty much every sports book. So on Pinnacle, one of the sharpest sports books in the entire world, set to minus 148. We have FanDuel set to minus 175, DraftKings minus 150, all the way across. And uh, average sportsbook line to minus 148, which indicates 55.7% chance to hit the over. Now, in order to be plus EV, in order to make um, you know long-term profit for five flex prize pick slips, all these individual legs need to be an average of 55% plus for this to be plus EV. So we can go ahead and throw Chris Paul, Chris Paul in here because, because as you can see here, over 55%, 55.68. So you're getting that 0.68% edge by putting him in there. But don't worry, we have a very good prop here, starting with Darren Fox over his PRA of 34.5. So another good one. As you can see, Fox looks pretty soft on prize picks altogether. His PRA is very soft. His points plus assists. So if I do post this video and all these props get, get bumped, then you guys can consider his points plus assists as long as it hasn't moved off at 30.5. And the same thing here for his 28.5 line on his points plus rebounds. Pacheco looks like he's starting to have some um, some more sports books coming out. So FanDuel minus 114, uh, 54.5. You can go ahead and throw that in there as well. Let's go ahead and just make him um, uh, make a slip here with him in there. Pacheco on the under. This guy's been a beast. But I'm um, oh, sorry, it's going to be the over because his sports book line on FanDuel is set to 54.5. Um, as you can see here, the over of 48.5, you're getting a six-yard discrepancy, coming out to a 55.6% chance to hit the over at 48.5, so still plus EV for that slip. Another play that looks very good is going to be Van Vliet. As you can see, pretty heavily juiced across all these major sports books, and you can get him at minus 119 odds here if you put him into a five flex on prize pick. So Van Vliet on the under rebounds looks very good. Oh, switch to the NBA tab here and throw him in under four and a half rebounds because again, that is still considered plus EV because it's over a 55% chance to hit when you take out the juice on both sides of his over and under. Last but not least, we have this random guy, Kyrou, 
Don't know what his last name is, but we're going to call him Kairou here. Under three and a half shots on goal. Looks to be pretty heavily juiced on the under. And um, let me explain why this is also plus EV for the entire slip. Because as you can see, this is orange, which doesn't indicate a plus EV play. It's under 55%, but we're looking for an average leg percent odds to hit a 55 plus. As you can see, 3.1% edge on the over here for Darren Fox because it's a full one point discount. And we're looking for an average leg of 55 plus percent. So 54.3% not going to hurt us if we throw them into a five flex because we're getting the really good, really elite odds in all these other plays. So De'Aaron Fox over 34.5 PRA, Chris Paul over nine and a half assists, Pacheco over 48.5 rushing yards, and Van Vliet under four and a half rebounds, Kyrou under three and a half shots on goal. This is a great plus EV slip. As long as you continue to trust the market odds and play these types of plus EV plays in the long run, you're going to re remain profitable on places like prize picks, guys. Let me know if this video did help. Let me know if you like this format, just going through and making slips with you guys. And again, I look forward to the next video and let's cash.